I can only hope that the nice view as the sun rises here on Hirschfelden is going to be a good sign of things to come in this hunt. It's time once again to jump out here into multiplayer and continue looking for trophies for the new Leighton Lake Trophy Cabin. And obviously, we were on Hirschfelden. Now, in a recent hunt, we had pretty decent success, and I'm hoping that can carry over to today, and we'll see if by the time we're done, if we're hanging something new on the newest Trophy Lodge walls. We kind of did luck out as well. It is Red Deer drink time on the server, and it's going to be Red Deer drink time for a while, so I wanted to come and check one of my absolute favorite spots. That is up here in Jonsdorp, and back in the day, these three lakes used to basically be the absolute best spots for Red Deer on the entire map, and for a while they basically didn't have any Red Deer again, and with the resets and redistributions that came with Reventuli, they kind of were made into good spots once again, so I'm looking forward to going through all of these and kind of seeing what we have there, and in between there's always that chance for Eurobison, Red Fox, and stuff like that, but... Hard shot from the 308, not a bad start to our hunt here on Hirsch. Hopefully the next one's just going to be a little bit bigger. Well, I can't help but feel like I brought that upon myself. <laughs> Those are a little bit bigger, but I actually wanted to talk about the little icon in the top left, because that's the thing that's happened with this update, and I'm pretty sure if you just turn POI icons off and then back on, it should fix it, but we'll go ahead and drop that red deer first. And then on our way down here, we'll see if that is actually the fix. Because I did it one other time and it worked. Probably now my luck. I'll talk about it and it will not. But if we go into, I think it would be interface. We're going to go on and then back off since I had them off to begin with. And then it goes away. So easy fix for that if you do have that happening and it's annoying for you. That should be all you have to do. But I suppose making progress here with this guy, 173 score. Hard shot him at 226 with the 308. Not too bad. And we'll head on to the third of these three lakes up in Jonsdorp. Hopefully there'll be something a little bit better there, but even still, I can't help but just enjoy going through these mountains again and actually finding red deer. It's the nostalgia factor, and it's kind of why we've moved the Leighton Moose Grind to Leighton as well. It's just nice to kind of see that again, something that was a thing five, six years ago. That red deer is huge. It's super wide. 229 to 275, and by the way, this is not the spot I was talking about. We've not been able to find, like, anything anywhere. And there's a chance this could be our PB stack. So, we're going to try to get this guy with the 308. Their drink time is actually almost over. But as long as he'll kind of just stand there like that. Try to drop that into the heart. Look at the size of that frame. He is massive. This is actually a spot that I was going to check later. For bison, Euro bison start to drink here fairly soon. Just this little lake here in Spreeburg, but I don't know. I guess we'll still come back for bison, but that dude. I mean, there's no no doubt. That's a diamond. No trolling happening there. And gonna be our our red deer for the Leighton Trophy Cabin. Imagine that. And he even stayed there. I mean, I wish we could get the sun a little bit better, but that is not bad. I think he may be a little bit uneven, but we just saw it with the Diamond Rocky Mountain Elk. It still scored extremely high. So let's see what this guy ends up as. 267. I don't even remember. I think that is our personal best. Because we had like a low, maybe a 267.3 from the grind. Not too bad. So we now have, in our last two hunts, we'll tax that so we don't lose it, a Diamond with the 338 and a Diamond with the 308. So now we just need the 7 mil, but... Look at that guy. That will look pretty darn good opposite our Troll Elk from our Leighton Hunt the other day. And we're only getting started. Maybe we'll be able to get more than one. Aww. And so finally, our opportunity to take a Euro Bison with the 7 mil shows up. And I don't think that frontal angle would have been a good idea. I'm not so sure you can get a hard shot frontal with the 7 mil, but I do think that'll probably be a long shot. It'll take some time to go down, but fortunately they flee rather slowly. In fact, we'll probably be catching up with it by the time it does drop. And ironically, as we kind of chase that herd down through here, it is just starting to be the Euro Bison drink time, so good chance we'll be starting to see some of them. But I want to try to stick down in like some of this area, Tishanau, and maybe up into Spreeburg as well, because there's going to be Red Fox, Rody, or Wild Boar just kind of resting throughout these forests. And I'd like to, as we go between lakes, Maybe have a chance to find some of those things. I think Red Deer, Eurobison, even Roe Deer, 
we're probably fairly likely to find those diamonds with some time put in, speaking of Rodier. But the other ones, those can be a little tougher. So while we're here and looking for one thing, I'd like to at least pass through areas where we may stumble into some of the tougher ones. I do think though, this should be fairly interesting. Trying to take one of the bigger and tougher species in the game with the seven mil consistently might be a bit tough, but the seven mil has been quite good for us. So even at this kind of quartering angle where we're shooting through a bit of shoulder, let's see what that does. It's gonna make him go aggressive. So worst case, we should get him anyway, but that got along. Not a bad deal, ran all the way to almost 50 meters before he went down. So we'll be able to grab that, and then we'll start to move up through some of here. Now, I don't think Euro Bison drink here, but again, all those changes with the Rev and Thule, we've, for the most part, focused on things like the Black Bear grind, the Moose grind, and Rev and Thule Coast itself. So there's a lot yet to discover out here that we haven't really been to in almost a year, but first gold Euro Bison of the Hunt, left lung shot, you know what? The heart's way further forward than I thought, but that could have gotten the heart at least broadside. There actually was a couple of bison drinking here. There's another male, I think, that has stayed there. So that's good to know. Doesn't look like there's any male still here, but we'll just kind of push forward and see what comes out of here. But that's good to know. In worst case, there's a level two we can go and get. There's a bunch of them here. There is another male, another level two, in fact. Actually, multiple level twos? I thought we just spotted a three. There's a ton here. Uh-oh. <laughs> that could be a problem, but let's uh try to get that guy. That may be that frontal not heart shot that I talked about, but gonna just sort of back away here. They're not really fast enough to pose a problem, but <laughs> there's more than a few to deal with. They actually kind of charge quicker than I remember. So try to get that one. I think the other one kind of bluff charged and took off. So that's gonna bring that down. That one's still aggressive. I think it may be more than one. Fortunately, by the way, because I do often talk about in multiplayer trying not to cause too much hunting pressure, the host is left. So we're not gonna like ruin anyone's map here by shooting all these, luckily, because this would no doubt delete the zone. That was a frontal hard shot. So I guess it can be done. I think there's maybe still one more around, but we'll start to kind of pick up the pieces here. Should have looked and seen how close that was, but there's that one which is about to go down. Maybe that was it. So I don't know in total how many we got. We'll kind of count here, but I think it would have been five. Got three females there. Another blood spot that would have been one here. And then we got the male too, which I don't really know where he went, but that was not what I expected to happen when we come up here. Got female number four there, which we got a liver, lung, and stomach shot. Seven male doing pretty good on the Euro Bison. Then we got to go and find the male yet. And there was even another level three up there with a completely separate fur type, but not too bad. The first shot was too low. Their heart does sit pretty high and pretty far forward, but I mean, looking at that, it can be done with a seven mil for sure. At least at close range, but left lung on the follow-up. And now we've killed way more Euro Bison in just the last couple of minutes than I thought we'd get in the entire hunt. Well, we seem to be doing really good at finding the Euro Bison and not so good at stumbling this stuff in between these places, but this is back at the lake where we shot our red deer, and I actually hadn't thought of it, but fallow deer should be drinking now as well. I don't see any here though, so I guess we'll just take this level three. We're actually almost to the end of Euro Bison time, which mostly is because we've been spending a bunch of time running between the lakes, but that kind of is the idea. It just didn't really produce anything for us. What the? Okay. <laughs> I haven't seen that one before, but I guess that's not just a moose thing. If it would have gone higher, I guess, or, or floated in the air for longer, I wanted to try to get it because I still want to shoot one of those animals that goes flying like that, but no such luck there. As for this guy, level three gold, actually, 191 score on a double lung shot, like a little farther forward. And the seven mil is doing better on bison than like the 338 or 300 do on moose. I just feel like maybe the moose could use a little bit of a nerf or you could potentially buff things like bison and cape buffalo. But anyway, we are really pushing it. Maybe we can get like a fallow deer. I don't know if this is still a good spot. It used to be. Well, it may not be a very big fallow deer, but there is at least a buck here. And as I said, they're going to stop drinking quite soon. So 
we'll just go ahead, try to make that shot with the 7 mil. I would say that worked. And at least we managed to get a fallow before they're done drinking. So, I want to say, roe deer should start to drink again. I don't remember if their drink time got moved back to afternoon or not. But maybe we can spend a little time going for them before we wrap up today's hunt. We'll have to just go around and see what happens because there aren't that many zones unlocked on this map so i don't think we can just kind of look across and find an already existing zone actually shot too high there and got the spinal cord but either way we didn't run into any drinking road here all that time going for red deer so i'm guessing their zone must have been moved back to like that 13 or 1400 window as one is calling which might be a good sign so it's only taken about 30 minutes and two game crashes to officially find out. Rodier do indeed drink from 1400 to 1700 on Hirschfeld. And so of course they drink from that time on all maps. There were apparently way more here than I thought, but I don't think any of them were huge. That one was certainly better than what we got, but good to know they're around. So we'll probably try to go and maybe get one more. That obviously took far longer than I wanted it to, but I do really want to get that red deer on the wall. So. We'll try to get one more Roebuck, maybe a little bit better than that, and then we'll head back to the trophy cabin. For now though, not exactly the most impressive Roebuck, we'll have to get just a bit better than that to go on the wall. 54 scoring silver and a right long shot from the 243, and we'll try finding a decent road here spot and see if we can get a better one. Now that's looking a little bit better, level 2 up to 58 and another level 1. And I do want to check as well, because I think on this side, Rodier tend to drink as well, so we won't jump the gun here. We'll make sure we're not going to spook away some better ones again. But worst case, we'll take the level 2 out front there. And apparently, it is going to be worst case, so we'll have to go ahead and try to take that guy. He is alert, so that might actually help us. I think we could just shoot him in the back of the neck and speed the process up, but that's a cool way to kind of wrap up. And overall, that ended up being a pretty good hunt. Obviously, the Red Deer being, I believe, our biggest ever is pretty cool. And it's going to be neat that it's going to be in that specific lodge for this series. But speaking of that, I'd say it's about time to jump back and make that happen. But just like that, our third hunt now trying to add to the Leighton Trophy Cabin. I think our fourth trophy, though one of them is a troll, we've got some pretty good balance going on. Red Deer Stag on this side, the Troll Elk and Albino Buck on that side, and of course the Albino Cow Moose from the live stream as well, but let's maybe pose this guy a little bit different. I want to try to show off that asymmetry there. It's hard to see because it's still largely the same, but it's his right antler that kind of flares out a little bit. And I believe that's responsible for him scoring as high as he is, but that is pretty cool. I mean, to get it on Hirschfelden as well, all of the Diamond Red Deer that we've shot on Parque Fernando and Quattro Clinus, even Teo Roa. Our biggest one comes from Hirschfelden, the original map, and like that's the entire point of this series and this lodge. So I think that is fitting, but on that note, that is going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.